Hello, it's me, Go Sam Possible. I'm me, guys. My name is Taffer16. Welcome back to another reaction video, and welcome to my 21st reaction to Father Ted. Man, I'm kind of sad, not gonna be honest. We're in Endgame. We only got four episodes left counting this one. For anyone saying, wait a minute, there's 25 episodes, uh, we did two episodes uh, in one video. In uh, the seventh video, we did the Bishop Brennan two parter, both in one video. So that's why we only got four left. Uh, today, we're going to look at Think Fast, Father Ted, which is the last episode that is not a series for Matt Finale. It turns out I have not done the final episode to any of the three series, so I think if you're wondering what the order is going to be going forward, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do later this month the Series 1 finale, and then next month when we end it, I'm going to do the Series 2 and Series 3 finale. But for now, it is Think Fast, Father Ted. Let's go ahead and watch it. Alrighty, here we go. Tell you what. I wonder if I've... I may have seen the best episode already. I watched the mainland last time, and... I, I didn't think there was going to be an episode that was going to beat Speed 3. The more I think about it, though, I think the mainland might be my favorite episode. Um, and it might end up staying that way. But I hear this episode's pretty good as well. we still got some good... we still got some four really good episodes. Yeah, I don't think there's a bad episode in the show, but I... What I've heard, the four episodes we got left are pretty damn good. Think fast, Father Ted. Oh, there's a leak. Oh, well, one way to wash your hair. And get a couple of water. Right, Dougal, come on, you can't sit watching television all night. It's a big waste. Chewing gum for the eyes. Uh, no thanks, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've got these crisps here. Look, Ted, this is what I do. I get a cheese and onion one and a salt and vinegar one, and I eat them in the same go. Inventive. Oh! That leak is getting worse, Dougal. What do you think? I think we'll have to move himself and put that bucket under it. Right, fair enough, Ted. I'm a happy camper! <laughs> God almighty, that's going to cost a fortune to fix. Where are we going to get the money? Think, Dougal, how can we raise some money? Just ask mm. the church. Don't pay taxes. Yes, I know. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so, Ted. Probably yes. not. <laughs> but now, wait, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a big step, and uh, where are we going to get the guns? America. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, wait a minute now. Actually, I, I might have been thinking about something different. <laughs> you thought we were going to rob a bank, didn't you? I did, yeah. <laughs> well, Drew, this isn't a Bruce Willis film. I'm well, thinking more along 4. the lines of a raffle. What do we have as a prize, though? You've got me there, Ted. I think we can get something. Under the rules of the diocese, we're allowed a raffle prize every couple of years. It's not, Ted. <laughs> well, that's some uh, Where's the thing? The thing for waking them up. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh. Father! Father, it's only us! Get your feck! Come on, Father, we're going to have to move you again! Drink! <laughs> Don't drink that, Father! No! It's fakin' water! <laughs> <laughs> and I've been looking up the records, and the island hasn't been given anything to raffle since those two bags of coal in 1964. Uh, I think we're entitled, to, uh, under the rules of the diocese, Oh, that'd be great. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you very much, Your Grace. Yes, thanks again. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, bye, Bishop Brennan. Bye. Oh, God. No luck, then. <laughs> Lots of luck, Dougal. We're being given a car. A car? That's a brilliant prize, Ted. Oh, it's not that unusual. Father Finnegan got one last year. You know him, don't you, Dougal? The dancing priest. Dances for peace. Yeah. Sounds fun to me. still going? Oh, yes, indeed. He Did danced across Apple? America last year. New York to Los Angeles. He was mugged about once every 15 miles. <laughs> Great. We'll have the roof sorted and out in no time. Did York. you hear that, Father? <laughs> Cup of tea, Fathers. No, thanks, Mrs Doyle. What do you think of her? Yeah, right. Are you sure you won't have a cup? It's a prize in our big raffle. Right, just the drop in your hand, then. Go on inside, Mrs Doyle. I'll take the tray. All right, Father. I'll put the kettle on in case you want some more once you get in. Oh, God, Ted, look at that. There's a dent in the car. What? Yeet! 
Ted. Just there, Ted. God, how did that happen? It must have been when you hit that fella on the bike. Don't let that anyone do. He was all right anyway. I saw him getting up. Not too bad. Sure, can just straighten that out with the tap of a hammer. Have a look in that box over there. Don't try to do that. Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. I'll just tap it the other way. It's no use, Ted. You'll never get it absolutely right. <laughs> Fucking hell! I thought I had it there a while ago, you know. It was looking all right. I'd like a knee you to keep banging away. You're a perfectionist, Ted, you know. It's not too bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Let's have another look. No, no, we can't give that away as a prize. No. Look, Ted, why don't you sleep in it? See how you feel in the morning. Maybe you're right. I probably needed that. <laughs> but uh, don't ever do it again. Now, what are we going to do? We could run away. Yeah. No, they just find us again. They always do. All right. Again? <laughs> what about that other fellow that has the car? Uh, the dancing priest. Finnegan. Yes, and it'll be the same type of car and everything. How could we get him to give it to us? You steal it. Maybe. Maybe we could just get a lend of it. Ah, but when somebody wins it in the raffle, they won't want to give it back. Now, Dougal, this is going to sound very, very immoral, but um, stay with me. <laughs> what if... What if we organised the raffle so that we won it? Then we could bring the car back. Oh! <laughs> oh, that'd be terribly wrong, Ted. I don't think we should do that. It wouldn't be cheating, really. It would just... It would just be a case of structuring the raffle in such a way that the return comes to the benefactors rather than the beneficiaries. Mm, mm. So capital. Dougal, seriously, listen. If Bishop Brennan finds out that we wrecked the car, he will kill us. Yeah. And murder is a terrible, terrible sin, Dougal. <laughs> so, by committing this little sin, we'll actually be saving a bishop's soul. <laughs> Fair enough then, Ted. <laughs> Come on, Father. We're off to see the dancing priest. Oh my God, the birds! <laughs> Seen a movie like this before. Right. Off we go. Time later. We zoom in, boys. God, look at it. It's the same colour and all. You mind Jack here. I will be a moment. But Ted, I uh, am Ted. <laughs> oh, he's sick. <laughs> Liam. Oh, Ted, come on in. Will you join me? What? Be dancer, hold I'll on, I'm you. not much of a dancer now. Oh, come on, Ted. Prayer isn't the only way to praise God, you know. And it keeps you fit as well. All right, then. He said something on the phone about taking a loan at a car. Uh, yes, he'd be doing us a great favour. Oh, don't be silly. Just take care of it. Don't give it away in a raffle or something. Ha, ha, ha. Um... Somebody said they saw you on television recently, in a documentary. You were in Belfast or something. That wasn't me. That was a younger fella ripped off the idea. Don't oh. like talking about him. <laughs> well, I'd better be heading on. Thanks again. Oh, no problem. Bye, Ted. <laughs> oh! He's dead? Bingo!
No look then, Ted. It doesn't matter about giving the car back now. He's fucking dead. Straight Dougal, dead. you leave a mark on the window. Straight dad, my dude. Are we there yet? Dougal, it's a long drive. We won't be there for a while. Yes, everything's fine now. Father, oh. Ted Killy saves the day once again. How are you doing back there, Father? Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> How have you been drinking, Father? It's like acid. <laughs> Here, try this. This will clear you up. Aren't cars great, though, Ted? Look, maybe you should have a rest, Dougal. It's, uh, it's a long drive. You, you have a little sleep. All right, so, Ted. Ah, and this is Laszlo St. Pierre and the night shift taking you through until 3 a.m. Ah, good, good morning, listeners. This is John Morgan on the John Morgan Morning Show. It's a beautiful day, so let's start off with some motel magic. Bro. Ted. Almost drifted off for a moment there. You did? Yes, you're nearly home. Right. The raffle. Let's go through nice. it again. I'll fill the hat with a load of tickets all with the same number on them. Say, 11. 11. Two ones. Uh, that's easy to remember, Ted. And then when I'm doing the draw, we'll make sure that you have that number. Right. So we won't have to cheat at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, that's actually how we're cheating, Dougal. Oh, right. Oh, oh, OK. OK, so let me get this straight. You'll be wearing the hat. Oh, that. No, no, I, I won't be wearing any hats. The tickets will be in the hat. Gotcha. But you'll put on the hat to give me the signal. Yes. I won't be giving you any signals, Dougal. I'll just pull out your ticket and you say, that's my number, and come up and collect the prize. There's a prize, Ted! What is it? Oh, my God! Oh, all right, Jack. Here's the sandwiches for tonight. What? Oh, wait a minute. I forgot to do my test. Uh, what test is that, Mrs. Doyle? Well, I select a sandwich at random and try it. And if it doesn't meet my standards, I put the lot of them in the bin. <laughs> right, so, are we all sorted? Oh, raring to go, Ted. Who's doing the disco? Father Billy O'Dwyer. The spin master. Great. Nice. <laughs> Actually, I can't wait for tonight. I bet I sell a load of tickets. <laughs> I bet I sell more than you do, Ted. Hmm. Mm. Do you know what this is a bit like? It's a bit like The Sting, and I'm Robert Redford, and you're Paul Newman. <laughs> Ground control to the spin master. Oh, Ted. <laughs> How are you? Fine, fine. Sweet moly, for us. like NASA. How do you keep track of it all? Oh, I'm sure it's quite simple, really. You see, here we have the two turntables, which I control from the mixing desk here. This switch means you can flip between records if you want to get a bit of an old jam going, you know. Well, I tell you, I can't wait. What records have you got for us? Records? A bit of the Bee Gees, I suppose. Get them all jumping. <laughs> oh, God. Billy, what's up with you? I forgot the records, Ted. What? Have you not got any records? Uh, just a second. Hold on a second. Uh, I might have one. I didn't have one out in the car. Cup of tea, Father. Uh, where did you come from? from? How would you like to be the first to buy a raffle ticket? Oh, I'd love to, Father. I haven't taken part in a raffle in donkey's years, and I think I might be in with a great chance today. <laughs> Shut up, Dougal. <laughs> That's great. How many will you take? Just the one. Ah, all right. I only need one. My lucky number never lets me down. Oh, I see. Which one is that? Eleven. What? Eleven. It's always been lucky for me. Um, well, uh, we're out of elevens. I thought I was your first customer. Yes, yes. But, um, but I think this one came without elevens. I'll tell you what. I'll give you a number ten and a number one, and that'll add up to eleven, and you can have them both for 50p. No, I don't think so, Father. I'd better have my money back. Mrs Doyle, it's for charity. It's for the roof. Sorry, Father. Incredible woman. Now, I wonder where Jack's got to. 
Oh, he's with Father Purcell. Oh, God, I better go and rescue him. He'll be going mad. No, he's fine. They're just having a chat. But Dougal Purcell's the most boring priest in the world. <laughs> he was working in Nigeria a few years ago, and he woke up one morning to find that everyone in the village had had enough of him and gone off in a big boat. It sank after a mile and they were eaten by alligators. <laughs> anyway, I better go. Right. <laughs> We run the gas off the electricity and the electricity off the gas and we save £200 a year. But then, a, a few weeks later, God, I'll never forget it now. We, we got a new boiler. It sounds like me when I was 15. Are you all right there, Father? me! Ah, hello, kid. I, I was just telling Father Jack there about the thing there last year. How did you fare with yours? I, I don't know what... Because, you know, they have no morals and, and no respect for human life. But what they do have, and, and no one can deny this now, they have the finest collection of boilers in the world. And I include Canada in that. <laughs> oh. Actually, I just want to borrow Jack for a moment. Thank Christ! <laughs> Father! Uh, Father! God, I remember the first time I saw that boiler now. Beautiful! I, I don't suppose you'd like to buy a ticket, Father. Oh, did you get them specially, Ted? Because, you know, you can buy them down the shop, you know. Any number you like now. Uh, one. Seven. <laughs> Twenty. 112, 112, all the way up to uh, 409, I think it is. And, and if you want more, they send off of them. And, and they send them back in an envelope now, you know. A normal kind of thing now, rectangular, of, of four corners, you know. That, that, that's the way I like them anyway. The old envelopes. Oh, yes, yeah. No round envelopes for me. No way, hose. Just hose? That was a grand name, wasn't it? Uh, he had trouble with the drugs. <laughs> Oh, 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 Christ. <laughs> yes! Tickets for the raffle, anybody? Anybody left now who hasn't bought a ticket, come over here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sorry about the wait, folks. <laughs> Bit of trouble with the old disco. Uh, luckily, though, I've got a few old pals to do a couple of numbers. Please welcome Father Tiernan, Father Rafter, Father Cafferty, and Father Leonard. Uh, Ted, uh, uh, found the record. <laughs> All right. Oh, All right. Abba. How about a ticket? 50p each or four for a pound. Gambling, Ted. Ruin my father and my grandfather. Both of them, Ted, died without a penny to their name. Uh -huh. Won't happen to me, though. God, it's just for charity. It's not real gambling. Yeah, all right, then go ahead. Great. How many will you take? 2,000. <laughs> 2,000? Come on, there. Look, I'll, I'll do your check. But, no, I, I can't take it. That, that's too much. I can handle it, Ted. I have a few friends who lend me cash from time to time. No, no, look, you, you keep that and you shouldn't be throwing around that kind of money. Ted, I need another ticket book. This one's run out. Already? How could you have sold out already? Don't ask me, Ted. I can hardly keep a straight face back there. <laughs> How was it, Billy? He didn't 2000. sell the 11, did he? Oh, no. Wait, did he sell the 11s? Oh, fuck. Oh, Christ. More drink. Is alcohol poisoning not exist in this universe? Car. No. You know what to do? Thunderbirds are go, Ted. Nice. Okay, come on. Oh, thank you, Father Billy. <laughs> and now let's get on to the important stuff, the raffle. Uh, the last raffle I was at was very interesting because the people who ran the raffle actually won it. So it's not unusual for that to happen. <laughs> right? Okay, and the winning number is... Number 11. <laughs> Number 11. <laughs> Number 11. If anyone has that number, will they come up on stage? Oh, what's that you say, Father McGuire? You have the winning number. What? Oh, well, <laughs> let's have a big round of applause for our very own Father Dougal McGuire. <laughs> Almighty Dougal, 
What are you doing? Sorry, Ted. I, I was looking at the ticket upside down. <laughs> well, congratulations to Father Dugan. Anyway, what a fantastic evening we've had. <laughs> we've raised enough money to repair the roof and we've had a great time. So let me just thank you all now for coming along and ask you to stand for our national anthem. <laughs> next week. <laughs> please, please, one more chance, that's all I ask. Please, please. Oh, thanks very much, Mrs. Dyer. <laughs> For God's sake, have some pity. I'm a priest. Oh, oh they, they, they have you every way, you know. <laughs> was in the AA there, you know, for a while, and 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 uh, the insurance was very expensive. I, All I, right. I, I had to crash the car just to get the money back, you know. Right. And, and, and then they had witnesses who said they'd seen me steer it towards the wall, you know. There, there was talk of me going to jail for a while. Well, yes, insurance. Oh, yourself. <laughs> what can I do for you, Mrs. Doyle? Terrible news. It's Father Finnegan. He's had a heart attack. No. The doctors warned him to cut it down to 12 hours a day, but he just couldn't stop dancing. Oh, that's <laughs> terrible news. What's up, Ted? It's Father Finnegan. He's had a heart attack. No. Are there any more chipsticks? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Does that mean we anyway. can keep the car, Ted? Dougal, that's a terrible thing to say. The man is just... Oh, wait a second, you're right, we can. <laughs> Father? Take off! <laughs> Father, where did you get the air freshener? Car! Nice. Oh, God. Drive the car! Oh. Not the new car. Tell me the truth. Have you been drinking? Yes! <laughs> yeah. Tell me from the beginning, where did you drive? Shops! Drink! Corner! Stops! Got out! <laughs> Truck! A truck. Two trucks. You take a look. Maybe there's something we can salvage. Probably not. Oh, looks fine. It's not that bad, Ted. No. Yes, God, I thought it'd be much worse than that. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> ah. Dougal, how is this not that bad? <laughs> oh, the well, compact car. still have the raffle money for the roof. Please, just give me 24 hours. Please. No. <laughs> oh, well. You guys kind of deserve it for scamming him, but we so because of that low pressure, we'll probably be seeing a lot more rain, at least until July, or possibly until August. <laughs> God almighty, imagine anyone being so dishonest as to steal raffle money from a priest. Well, now, the raffle was rigged, Ted. Yeah. I suppose it'll be all right, as long as a tree doesn't fall through the roof or something. Why would you say that? For a moment there, I thought... <laughs> yeah, you fucked uh, correctly. This is a piece of advice my father gave to me. Now, this not only refers to lagging, but all forms of insulation. <laughs> he, he, he said, uh, don't ever... Uh, no, no, wait, no. It was always, always, <laughs> always... Re no, no, it, it was... Uh, never! Ne oh, I've forgotten. Never mind. <laughs> What's your favourite humming noise? <laughs> uh, Who are you what, talking what would to? Mmm. Uh, or would it be? Mmm. Uh, the first one there. Now that's the sound of a fridge. Uh, the second one. The second one. That's the sound of a man humming. You never hear a woman humming. I, I, I knew a woman once, but she died soon afterwards. <laughs> uh, uh, now, if you push me to it, I'd have to say my favorite color was uh, gray. No, blue. A soft blue with a hint of grey. Now orange, orange. That's it. It's an orange. I remember. I, I, I have an extension put on the house now, and I put it on the extension 
So the house is in a circle now, you see? <laughs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Well, I don't want to say he deserved it, but I mean, <laughs> he deserved it, you know? Hey, you know, you know, you know, rig a raffle for yourself, you know, and expect nothing to come of it. Like, just, I don't know, man. Just ask the church to pay for the fucking roof. They got the money. Surely. <laughs> Does the church get taxed, by the way? Um, and that was a... Obviously, churches don't get taxed in America. Do they get taxed um, in Ireland and in the United Kingdom? I honestly don't know what your guys' laws on churches are over here. Churches get away with fucking everything over here. I'll tell you what, those motherfuckers don't pay shit. They get away with everything. Um, I mean, you can basically you can basically start a church as a tax dodge scam and get away with it over here. Hmm, now they think about it. No, 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 no. How about anyway? Uh, so we have three episodes left, and they're all the series finale. So sometime uh, in a couple weeks from now, we're gonna do Grant unto Him Eternal Rest, which is the series one finale, and then next month we will do Flight into Terror, and then finish with Going to America, and then that's it, and we're done, son. So I hope you guys enjoyed my twenty-first reaction of Father Ted. We got two left. Just two left. Sorry, three left. I can't count. Three left. We got just three left. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. But yeah, that is going to do it uh, for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to like it. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, where I stream every single day, my second channel, Priest and Views, my Twitter. If you want to follow me, my Patreon, if you want to support me on my daily motion, my video, all those things are down in the description down below. Thank you to all my Patreons currently named in the description for your con support me on my channel. For those of you guys who don't know, you can be a Patreon of me for as low as $1 or £1. Pound. You get access to direction videos as well as reading your comments a day early and you get your name in the description. Also in the description is a link, link to the community Reddit, as well as the daily schedule, as well as the Twitch VODs channel. With all that being said, though, my name is Tafford's team. This has been my 21st reaction to Father Ted. Just three left. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.